اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last sessions, we assessed the step one, that is multicollinearity, and we assessed structural relationships. Now, in this particular session, we are focusing on step three, that is explanatory power. So, step three of evaluating structural model. Assess the model's explanatory power. The next step involves examining coefficient of determination that is your R square of the endogenous constructs. Now the R square represents the variance explained in each of the endogenous constructs and is a measure of model's explanatory power, also referred to as in sample predictive power. The R square ranges from 0 to 1 with higher values indicating greater explanatory power. As a general guideline, R square values of 0.75, 0 0.50 or 0.25 can be considered as substantial, moderate and weak respectively in many social sciences disciplines. But acceptable R square values are based on research context and in some disciplines an R square value as low as 0 0.10 that is 10% variance in the endogenous construct is considered satisfactory. Researchers should be aware that R square is a function of number of predictor constructs. The greater the number of predictor constructs, the higher the R square. Now therefore, R square should always be interpreted relative to the context of the study, based on the R square values from related studies as well as models similar complexities. So what's the R square of an endogenous construct in a similar study? You should also keep note of that as well. Now how do we assess the model's explanatory power? A limitation of R square is that the metric will tend to increase as more variables are added into the model. Now the adjusted R square metric accounts for this by adjusting the R square value based on the number of explanatory variables in relation to the data size and is seen as more conservative estimate of R square. Because of the correction factor introduced to account for data and model size, the adjusted R square is not a precise indication of endogenous constructs explained variance. So what's the solution? In this case, researchers have asked to assess for F square effect size and is like the size of the path coefficients. In step 3 of the structural model assessment procedure, we need to consider the model's explanatory power by analyzing the R square of endogenous constructs and F square effect size of predictor constructs. To start with, we need to examine R square values of the endogenous constructs. The R square value of collaborative culture. So where is this R square? How do we get this R square? So first, let's get this R square. Let's copy. And here is our model. And let's get this. So let's see the R square. Let's run it. And what's the R square? Let's look at this. The R square for collaborative culture is 0 0.608. That is 60% change in collaborative culture is being accounted by these three variables. This is changed into percentage. Multiply by 100, so 60.8% change in collaborative culture is being accounted by these three variables here because these are the only three variables in the model. Now the R square value of collaborative culture as shown 0 0.608 can be considered moderate. Now where is your F square and how do we get our F square? So here is the output for F square but first let's see our F square output in R. So copy it. Okay I've got already copied. Let's run it and look at the effect size here. So effect size is for the impact of vision development rewards on collaborative culture. So effect size for your exogenous variable. Now look at the effect size here. This is small and this can be referred to as or these two can be referred to as moderate. So what do we mean by F square? Now F square means that if we were to remove an exogenous variable, how does this impact the R square value? Is the impact small, medium or large? So how do we assess the small, medium or large impact? Now this is small because this is less than 0.15 and this is medium 
and anything above 0.35 can be regarded as large. Now removal of vision from this model will have a small impact on the R square whereas removal of development and rewards will have a more medium or moderate impact on the R square values. Now this is what we mean by R square and F square and this is how they are interpreted. In the coming videos, we are going to discuss how to report these results in your research paper or thesis. Thank you very much.